Hello, this is HD Bailey with another tech demo that I wanted to try out for Final Fantasy XV. In the upper left there, I've inserted an input display to show precisely how I'm doing everything in game. See, I press the buttons and they light up. You can see what I can do. So let's go in game now. It's showtime. I thought I'd show a little fishing here with the input display. I can even disable it and bring it back later if I think it's interfering with the menus and the cutscenes there. So let's see, I'm going to try and uh, lure fish here. If I don't get it right away, I'll skip to when I do. Here we go. Hey, oh, all right. We got a big one. So yeah, for the input display, I'm using Gamepad Viewer with a custom PlayStation 5 controller skin. My old PS4 controller was dying, so I thought I'd get a, an upgrade there. However, there's a problem. As you can see, the buttons are no longer lighting up anymore. And that's because when I start up Steam, it seems like it overrides the gamepad viewer, so it's no longer detecting my button presses. If you have an idea of why this is happening, or how I can fix this, or another alternative to gamepad viewer, or whatever, let me know, because I do not know. Now, even though I'm playing this on PC, I'm currently using PlayStation configuration support in Steam. So it matches the controller that I'm using. They'll have all the PlayStation symbols and everything around the game. I can disable it in Steam, which does allow Gamepad Viewer to work properly, but then I can't interact with the game at all because it's not hooked up to my PlayStation controller. So it really doesn't matter if I could do that. Look at the size of that thing. Now, in order to do this, this overlay at all, I have to record with OBS instead of Shadowplay. However, I think it can reasonably match the video quality of Shadowplay, or at least pretty close to it. There may be some frame skipping, but that even happens to me sometimes without any recording at all. Turn the rod toward the fish. As long as I've got the input display there, uh, let me know if you think it's like too distracting or interfering with understanding what's going on. I thought I'd put it in the upper left since, well, you've got the mini-map in the upper right, you'll have HP bars in the lower right, and then your weapons and other things in the lower left during combat. Now, being a much more hectic, action-oriented game, I thought perhaps an input display could help convey exactly what I'm doing. When I watch, like, some other videos of Final Fantasy XV, uh, most of them don't use that, <laughs> which sometimes makes it difficult for me to figure out how they're doing exactly what they're doing. If I can get this going, that would be great. If not, well, I'll just have to do it like I've always done it before and just do my best to explain things verbally, like in my 3D Zelda videos and stuff. If you have any tips on fishing also, uh, let me know. That's one of the reasons why I decided to use this for the tech demo. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, in this case, I'm mostly waiting for the fish to, like, start diving underwater and then try reeling them in. And, I mean, I can do a little bit of reeling in between, but that oftentimes results in the fishing line taking damage. You can see that in the lower right there, or even in the middle there when it starts glowing red on the tension line. Now, I know fish can be caught much faster than what I'm doing because I've seen what other people do in videos, and, well, maybe it's just my reflexes aren't uh, up to that level of skill there. I mean, I can catch everything eventually, but I have to be a lot more precise to, or make a lot mis less mistakes or take my time. So, I mean, it can take a while to reel in big fish like this one. In any case, my uh, test run for Final Fantasy 15 is going well. I'm about 90% uh, through my notes. 
so I'll be getting that going pretty soon. I I'm also thinking about maybe doing like a preview episode or something with the tutorial of the gameplay He's mechanics awesome, really. there, so I don't have to explain everything like all at once there. And or if people have already played the game, they could just skip the preview tutorial and just go right into the game there. Now, as far as my approach to the game, I've decided to go with the obscenely overpowered route, uh, partially because the game is already long enough as it is. I'm probably going to go with much longer episodes than usual still, so that I can get through the game in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, I, I don't want this LP going on for several months, like five six months. No, no. I mean, I like the game, but I don't want it to take forever either. So uh, right now, I'm thinking about d doing daily episodes of more like 45 to 60 minutes in length, depending on the situation. I may need to batch record some episodes if I can't save in between there, like I did with uh, Final Fantasy XII, let's say. So, but hopefully I'll be able to complete the LP within a few months, rather than, you know, showing... Well, I mean, I am going to be showing almost everything that I do in-game. I mean, it will be a 100% LP, as usual. But there's really not a lot of stuff for me to, to like, edit out. It's not like a, like a turn-based RPG where, okay, I fought these enemies before, I can just, you know, edit out the battle and move along. Now, now I mean, being a, a much more action-oriented game, I mean, it would be like, like, Sinking to the Sensei 3 would probably be a pretty good example where, yeah, you have battles, but you kind of need to show stuff unless you're, like, grinding or something. That I could do off-screen. Or, like, with fishing, if I'm trying to catch uh, a rare fish, or something. You know, I could edit out my failed attempts or my attempts that catch the fish I wasn't looking for or something like that. I could do that. But like the Battlefields, being a 3D game, of course, are pretty big. So, I mean, even if I were to try and edit something out like that, I would, you know, be in a completely different area than where I started the battle there. But fortunately, most of the battles won't take too long unless it's like, you know, like a boss or a hunt or something like that where I would be showing everything I'm doing there anyway. Ha-ha! There we go. Yeah, I got a little sloppy at the end there. Whoa. Check it out. But yeah, this gets harder to catch the longer it goes on. Massive! Or, or like, as you get closer to, I guess, finishing them off, so to speak. Yeah, let's just laugh at the fish who's going to be chopped up soon, fearing for, for its life. Mind, it? So, yeah, let me know if you have any knowledge on, like, how to get the gamepad viewer to work with Steam. How the Let me know how the video quality looks to you in OBS and if the input display is distracting or any tips on fishing more quickly there, uh, let me know. This is H.D. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. We're burning daylight here. All right, all right, I'm going, Gladio.